Damn kid, get off my lawn. This is my property and I demand that you vacate. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we went we, we went around the lower regions of uh, Biolis and found to clear things up, inclu including helping Carl on his days to get back on his feet. This episode, though, as Dumban has the premature tour, tour guide, we are showing Melia and Ricky our hometown, hoping to see the low, low regions even more and hopefully a better better pasture than uh, Connie Six was. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's just so nice to be back in, in Cotton 9. It's been so long sin, since we've been here, and just seeing how far we've come and seeing things be a bit better. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just... You get an, a, a nostalgic feel, I, I feel. <laughs> Although I do, wish, I do wish we had, like, brief cutscene or flavor text of Melly and Ricky see as she hasn't gone nine for the first time. Mm-hmm. Similar to what uh, Charlotte went through, but I don't know. It is a nice thing to think, I think about what they would think about it, mm -hmm. but hey, I'm not going to dwell on it. Starting off though, we are back in the military district and just to check up on Vanguard and everyone else seeing how things are. <laughs> and starting off, we have an upcoming prospect who has done a lot of work. You might remember her. She, uh, she was, she was the slave driver who oh, took things, took things that we were meant to do and took a credit for. You again? Good timing. I got a little job for you. The number of wind vangs in Tefra Cave has really shot up. None of the other teams are willing to exterminate them. So it falls to my platoon to take on the job. Only thing is, me and Miller can't handle it alone. I was hoping you could help out. I want to. I want you to man Tefra Cavern. Kill five just to make sure. Can I count on you? Seems like we don't have a choice. Thank you, me and Miller. You Sorry. just take care of the wind vangs in Tefra Cavern. Ah boy, it seems like she want she wants us to to do more. So, let's give it a sec, and we shall be a bit back. Let's face it, Tefra Cave. It it's, it's been a while as well, so it will be nice to try to go back and relive all, all our old stomping grounds. Mm hmm. But as much as I'd like to say yes, Colony Nine is back up, is back up, and you know thing, things are. Better, and everything's been f forever gotten. Unfortunately, this colony is still too lazy to fix goddamn fence posts. <laughs> I mean, they fixed that big triangular thing in the central plaza. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Access is fine, but painful me memories, not so much. It's still here. Mm-hmm. But at least now, at least now we know there is still hope. So. If they wanted to be really dark, they could have left a few bloodstains from Fiora in that area. I guess they could have, but <laughs> from, from the Nopon kids would be running around going, What is, what, what is liquid? It's stinky. <laughs> and also morbid. The guy bumps in, into a fence post on his way back there. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. <laughs> So I'm just trying to find some something or someone in particular. So just give me a second. I feel like Dumban is um, an early bird, so perhaps maybe he's um, he's jumped the gun <laughs> again. Damn kids the, uh, these days. Mm -hmm. Or I could be wrong and I could be late and be stupid. Either way. Here we have another kid who's not on my lawn. Don't shove me out the way, you little brat. <laughs> I need to speak to Shulk. Can you call him for me? <sighs> he shoved me out the way before I turned to Shulk. Wow. Again, kids the, the uh, these days. <laughs> and you thought my intro at the beginning was a bit harsh. Nope. 
No, justified it seems. Hey Shulk, I really need to talk to you, it's serious. Me and Pale had this big public falling out, it's so embarrassing. It was about Ryan and you. It's silly really, we argued about who's the strongest and hottest. All words which does not apply to Shulk in any, in any way. I told her it was you, obviously. No need to worry about that. Um, you do realize there's a massive age gap between us. <laughs> I could get in big trouble for this. <laughs> but now I need you to go kill a dragon for me, and alone. What? Are you stupid or something? Ryan is loads cooler. You're the, you're the stupid one. Shulk's way better and cuter. Well, Ryan's hotter and stronger. Ryan's got a small brain. Ryan's just as clever as Shulk. Well, well, Shulk's kinder. Anyway, Ryan's big and scary. Ryan can protect me. Nothing can hurt me as long as Ryan's around. When has Ryan ever had to protect you? Bet you don't even know Shulk mended my toy for me once. I can't believe you just said that! Ugh! Gonna cry now? You cry, baby! Don't my visions long and tell someone I'm possibly dying? <laughs> I don't know. It'll probably just make things worse between you guys, and plus it isn't a bit childish. Oh please, Shulk, please! My sis my street cred will be ruined if you don't. Everyone will laugh at me. This game just used the term street cred. <laughs> That doesn't stick out, out it, at all. Me, me and Ryan never argue, but you've had heart to hearts, which you've said you've fallen out. <laughs> Shulk, you are lying to kids here. <laughs> dude, eject button, dude, eject bu button. Get out of there. And can't you two be more like us? I guess we could be. I'll oh, promise to make up with Pale if you promise me something. Show us that you really are best friends forever. What? Ray raised affinity between Shulk and Ryan to a good degree then, and talked to Noreen. You'll have to convince me first. Then you gotta convince Paola. Ryan! Best buddy in the whole, whole wide world! <laughs> in case you're wondering, you have to get Shulk and Ryan's affinity up to a cloud and then they'll be able to talk. Look, luckily for us, Shulk and Ryan, their hearts. And they've been that way since like the ether mine. Totally not shipping. Wow, you and Ryan are the bestest of friends. As Ryan just completely blocks your view. <laughs> oh, Ryan, uh, Shulk, my wrist is talking to you. <laughs> We're best friends now, mate. <laughs> you and Maurice, mate. I named Maurice Noreen. <laughs> I, I've changed my mind about Ron. I can see why he's a nice boy, boy too. <laughs> Is Ron using his wrist to, like, compliment himself? <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, but now you've got to prove to Pearl about your, about your friendship. Oh, no, my stomach's talking. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, 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 man. It's my belt buckle. It's talking to you. In that case, this conversation's gone completely off, off rails. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Shulk and Ryan's wrist. Best of friends. There's a joke in there somewhere, but I don't want to, I don't want to go anywhere near that. <laughs> but speaking of... I'm not going no near things. Francine or Franchos? Francosi? Oh no. Either way, she has just been wanting Dawn Hydrangeas for a long time, so let's let's cut the crap and give the flowers <laughs> with Bob prob probably won't right right now. <laughs> so Yay. And giving her fla flowers gives us a lot of affinity to you, so it's it's in it's it's in your, in your best interest for now. We're not only being best friends with uh, Ryan and possibly Melia, but we're also being best friends with the colony because why? Why the hell not? <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I love going back to regions after 
factor a lot of story progression because a lot of things open up and we're not yet at the point at which things are in, in any danger. I mean, you know, obviously, fast forgetting a Fiora, but how about you know? <laughs> but I guess now we gotta, I gotta speak to this brat and show her that uh, the friendship is all the ma ma uh, matters. Noreen wants me to do what? Take a look at the two boys? Why would she ask that? Ryan, oh, I get it. Check to see how good the friendship is. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan doesn't even care. Hey, it's totally improved. Shulk and Ryan are looking much more like best friends now. You do realize I'm right here. <laughs> and me, but I don't care. I'm so jealous. I wish me and Noreen were like that. But I guess boys are different. Can girls be best friends like that? I bet they can't, you know. If you think otherwise, prove it. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, yeah, basically, we need to up affinity of two girls in the party. I think up to either clouds or hearts. And if I am to be sure, I don't think Melly and Charlotte are like that. Because in the fact that we just met. Oh, yeah, they're bad. <laughs> they're bad. <laughs> this is a weird placement for a side quest, in my honest opinion. Because you would have to, at the latest, have Charlotte and Melia at the party. But at this point, they, they, they would not, unless you grinded the hell out of those two. Mm -hmm. You would not be able to do, do the, the side quest in, in a long time. Mm -hmm. So, again, it's sort of weird and wrecks the pacing of a side quest. Granted, I know, pay, pacing a side quest is not the be-all, end-all of things. But still, it's a rather, it's a rather jar jarring leap. Because you, you've had a chance to um, build up Ryan and Shulk from, uh, from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. So, unless you came back here at the very, 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 very end of the game, you wouldn't have any way to do this unless you un unless you grinded a hell, hell of a lot. Mm-hmm. But, hey. So, I guess with that, we'll try and build up affinity where we can. So, Ryan, you're getting the shaft here. <laughs> And back to the original tall guy because Ryan Shulk cannot uh, cannot be uh, <clears throat> cannot be trusted with uh, these two ladies, mm -hmm. shall we say? And while going to do a tether grave, I got this guy who's Hello. looking suspicious. I'm gonna give you a lot of the summoners a facts. On the way back from Colony Six, I found something and hit it. I'm planning to go and get it sometime. I'll tell you where it is. You can go and get it if you're interested. What do you think it is? <laughs> Could you tell me more? I like free stuff. <laughs> and just seems like I'll come in handy. So he basically wants us to go out of our, our Tefra cave to head to the Macon, this out, outlook, and just have a look there. <laughs> Which we shall do so because I am a fan of free stuff, good sir. I thought we are here for a reason and need to take out a lot of vangs. So we shall be right back and we she shall take out the vangs if you need to have a cavern. Ow! My cape was going rogue. <laughs> <laughs> these vangs, for these vangs in question, for level 9. So not at all a problem. And I think despite that, you get a level 3 gym as a reward. Even better. Well, I was gonna say we, we I should cut, I could hear, but some, uh, somehow Feather Bang was carrying a gold chest in itself. <laughs> nice. Pittance. Pittance, but it does have night vision in which will be helpful I guess if you really want to be desperate or want a challenge <laughs> trust me I don't think we've emphasized this enough recently but trust me night vision is something you definitely are going to need at some point let's keep that in mind <laughs> so that's all the business we have outside of the cave but 
as we hinted to us before, let's go. Let's go to the outside and see and, and see what we can find. Wrong way. I was gonna say. I thought it was in. By I thought it was on the knee. <laughs> <clears throat> Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I was not the one who went to Tetra Cave, that was Shogun Ryan. I haven't done anything of that nature yet. <laughs> On the way back, to the en at the entrance of Tetra Cave, we are greeted with an ominous sight. It's kind of juxtaposition with a, a beautiful sunset and the ominous Makanis. Yeah. Harmless Mechanis. I like that. <laughs> like that. But, mo most importantly, we know Fiora's alive. She's up there. Somewhere. It's our job. It's our job to get her back. So let's take everything that we can get and see what lasting gift this guy had to give us. And it was the top or resist. It may be small, but still, it's still affinity with of our, of our car, Conley, and, and who knows. Tower pools is my, might be something you have a, a finite resource for. Mm -hmm. So, with that, let's go back home. Let's hand in our goods. It was a long trek back, and so much so that uh, it, took, it took us an entire night. <laughs> but... We may, we made it, and now hopefully that uh, the goddamn ca captain should, I uh, should be happy about it. Took all night because Ryan kept messing around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so badly. Anyway, oh, here you go. Oh, once again, great work. We completed our mission thanks to you. Yes, we completed our mission. My platoon's reputation is going through the roof. Don't worry about it. It was nothing. I've told everyone that you helped us. Here's your reward. I think there will be something important missions coming our way soon. That'll give me a chance to aim even higher. When I get the rank I really want, I won't forget what you've done. And that's a promise. I don't believe you. But at least, at least you give us, as you meant, as alluded to earlier, you have defense up free. And seems like she wants one, one more thing, so have at it. You always show up when there's something bothering me. I never left. Don't look so worried. I'm not. Although I do have more work, and it's important all the same. Oh, joy. Two unidentified monsters have shown up in Tefra Cave. The Defense Force tried to eliminate them, but failed. Mm -hmm. Banter, banter, banter. I can read your mind, Shahala. My platoon is the only one that hasn't had a try yet. I wish I could use this as a chance to show what I can do. But those monsters are a lot more terrifying than I thought. I just need you to take out one of them. My platoon can handle the remaining one. This time it's not just for me, it's for the whole of Colony 9. Um, I don't know who you think you're ta talking to, but I have taken my fair share of lumps for this colony. You're talking to the general of the defense force. Yes, you you do realize I can court martial you for laziness. <laughs> but I have. But you are lucky that my sister is still alive, so I uh, I'll do father is all the same. <laughs> and and she gave us a choice on what you can do. In all honesty, it doesn't matter which one you go for. Uh, the results are all the same. As chests <laughs> fall from the sky! Okay. <gasps> nice to know they didn't despawn, but still. It's... I just like how they made a splash. Yep. <laughs> they have physics. I don't you know. Yeah, like what happened before we started this episode. Oh, yeah, sure. I oh. might a good clip of that in this. Yeah, we'll show you. I guess you wondering, it's when Melly is up on the lighthouse and you just see... Ah. 
So here we are the spring of grief. I can't really remember offhand what the monster was. But it was Le, Le Brog. <laughs> As you probably could tell, not a pro not a problem, especially at this at this stage in the game. Mm -hmm. But now that's done. In case you're wondering, the other enemy was a crabble. Again. And isn't it in the ether mine? No no no. It was in the other lake area in this cave. Uh, I thought there was a point, and there was a side quest or something where we had to pick between something in an ether mine and something in Tefer Cave, I think. Hey. Uh, I don't know, I could be wrong. Well, we'll get to that if it comes up. Our memories are ha for hazy when it comes to the fer fairy side quest in Incarnate at this point. Oh, I think it actually is a guy. A guy either goes to the ether mine. Yes, I yeah. know what you're talking about. He's, he's in Colony 6. <laughs> yes, I know what you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. We'll get to him shortly. Thank God, the stupidity of that quest. <laughs> but speaking of stupid quests, she's running away from us. Hey. Hey, lay lady. Thought you could escape me. Do not shove me. Thanks for the help. I can report that both targets have been eliminated. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the defense force is so grateful. Grateful for you and my platoon. I'm closer to achieving my dream. I'll be sure to repay you when I reach my end goal. Just give me a little more time. You sound like someone who who who's late to pay their rent. Just give me a little, just give me, just give me a little more time. I swear, I swear. <laughs> and and gives us a flame gear which we all already have. But hey, if you want to use it for a, a flame attack, be my guest. And it seems like she's done giving us quests. So that to me is everything that we can do in, in the military district. I've helped out my fellow uh, my fellow soldiers. Therefore. I am happy. <laughs> now I feel like I can retire to my abode and call it a day and, and rest to go up to the high, high regions for Bionis. So, so I think, as I think, I'll just do that right now. Not that. <laughs> That's Alvis saying. What the hell are you doing? You have something to do, you know. Will, will you please hurry up? I'm getting <laughs> bored. Like, seriously? I'm just tagging along in the background here. Hello? I'm losing patience, your highness. <laughs> but Albus is the be polite and, si and silent type, so he'll be fine. <laughs> As I said early on, it just feels so good that I'll be back, be back here again. Mm -hmm. Home sweet home, and hopefully, once this adve adventure's all done, we, we can finish up. But it seems like we have a nice little couple out for a stroll. So you know what? Let's have a talk. Yes. Leopold. I'm used to being in debt, but never missed this badly. No, oh, Ricky, no. Ricky can learn relate. It suck. <laughs> I'll never be able to say. I'll never be able to pay the whole lot back. And and the total keeps growing bigger and bigger and bigger. The worst part is, it's by, it's by my ability to write anything decent, so I barely have any kind of cash flow going at all. Listen here, Sonny. You better pay me back. Three thousand G in two days. You do realize what will happen to you if you don't pay, right? But 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 you can't. We agreed on two months. I can't get it that quick here quickly. Well, the deal's changed. If you don't pay up, I'm gonna seize everything you own. You got the glazed look in your eye. Are you okay? <laughs> the bloke who let me the money is is ready to turn the screws. I don't know what I can do, but I'll have to keep up payments somehow. 
And I like how this thing is zero G and zero experience. <laughs> complete, a completely worthless. <laughs> also, you think. So, it seems like we have to find this King Squeeze fellow. <laughs> Seriously, what a name. I bet, some, I bet someone had fun <laughs> for designing him. <laughs> or, na or naming that guy. Mm -hmm. But fun thing. If you were to say travel or, or, or time travel a bit, oh my god, I found him! <laughs> Except he's less tanned and has a different hat <laughs> and has a and has a pipe. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's Step Up and Xenoblade 2's NPCs. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, if you want to find King, a King of Squeeze, then I say let us go to a late time room in the day. Probably somewhere higher up. <gasps> yep, higher up in the backgrounds we get... Not you. I'm just a decoy <laughs> waiting to die. <laughs> I think I'm picking some kind of trap to catch you next. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Generic quest, generic quest. Plate snow, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what, buddy? We got it. <laughs> and now he just stands there and again, just waiting to die. <laughs> He's staring out at Cliff Lake, contemplating his life. In fact, if you look closely, some of the face first structures, I guess. Who knows? <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh my god! He he wasn't waiting to die, he was waiting to be extorted! <laughs> so here we are, King Squeeze, what a name! AKA, I call him Santa. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the voice I had plans for you! <laughs> you think I'm pressing our good friend Leopold for too much? Uh, for money he doesn't have? I can't deny it, but I'm not an unre unreasonable mo mo money lender. <laughs> I have a mustache as I twiddle. <laughs> I just want him to pay back the, the money he owes me. Is that so much to ask? He could do it if he just stopped splashing out on his girlfriend. Then and his wages could go to pay me back instead. And then we we be square. I got I gotta call the whole thing off. Once again, very, very nicely done. Of course. It's child's play getting men like him to spend all their money. Good work, my girl. Here's your new orders. This much? Are you nuts? Why do you need him to get into this much debt? I think it's about time I got a, I got a scheme for good. I want that boy's house. It's in a ni nice area. Worth quite a bit. The infamous King Squeeze is packing it all in, huh? Alright, you've got a deal. Expect a sizable contribution to your retirement fund. Make sure, make sure you don't screw this up. And make sure he doesn't find out. You would you say would that. that. You're, You're the, the one, one who's, who's looking, looking to cash, cash in. in. Leopold, Leopold would never, would never blame, blame me anyway. anyway. He, he loves, loves me. me. What? What do you want? You can wipe that suspicious look off your face for a start. There's nothing going on here. Totally not. <laughs> As general, I have instincts about this. <laughs> and I think women's instincts will ki uh, <laughs> kick in as well. So, seems like we need to find our lovely couple and figure out what's going on. Albeit it seems pretty obvious, but hey, you can <laughs> ne ne never be too, too, uh, too sure. We know exactly where, where they are. And what tie? Because we're totally not stalkers. <laughs> not at all. Well, well, here we go. So now we have, I think, a choice here. Let's just have a look see. He's a financial plan. We have a choice to talk to Savine or Leopold. And we all just, I will, I want to give you a brief, a brief rundown of what the events are. So, I, I, I just give us a moment.
she talked to Press very first, she her, she will say that th th there is no proof and that she has disposed of some in actuality. Just simply have to find find that proof and what happens is that King Squeeze lets up on his debts but still asks for them. So Leopold is not completely out of the water. However, if you talk to as Leopold, you get this route, which will happily show because I personally think it's my favorite. <laughs> yes. Hold on, you say Sylvain's been uh, working for King Squeeze? Right on, right on, on front of my notes this whole time. So, what is their plan? Make Sylvain spend all my money so I have to borrow more? Then hit me up for a repayment? Nah, it can't be. That girl's been a big spender since the day she was born. She would never spend my money on at, at Redline King Squeeze's pockets. But if King Squeeze's business falls apart. Won't that mean my debt will disappear with him? What a plan! It's brilliant! <laughs> I can screw with him! <laughs> because clear, it's clearly two wrongs make a right. <laughs> sorry, sorry it's been out of the blue, but I need a favor from you. Can you get your hands on some caramel poison for me? Then strike King Squeeze and secretly slip him in his pocket. I intend to arrange an interview with him for a fake, fake article. Something like, Kai Nine's top earners of the year! He'll take the bait, we'll meet, and I'll coincidentally find the poison. He gets incriminated, loses face, and his business is finished! <laughs> I'm not insane, and I'm not an absolute planning maniac! <laughs> and I'll just face around here again. Blackmailing at its finest. Yep, and it seems like we don't have Shadow Power Poison, so we shall be right back, damn it! <laughs> but all is not lost. Because I suddenly remembered that we have friends. Friends in botany regions. Who we just managed to help out during today. That, ladies and gentlemen, would be the, the delightful old lady. Hello. Yes, I'm sure she has a lot of things to give us. <laughs> including... Dun, 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 dun. Catapult poison for 250 G's, <laughs> and we shall do that right now. <laughs> and we overtrade, oh, and she gave us a shaft. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks. I mean, let's be fair. We did give her brog remains, so I guess it's, I, I guess it's warranted. <laughs> Have a slimy. Iphilian? Okay, fine. She didn't give us a shaft this time. <laughs> okay, two out of three. Can we not get a shaft? Can we not get the shaft? <laughs> no, let us do it one more time. Uh, let's give her... Um, mm, what is the most stupid thing that we, uh, we can give her? Yeah, sure. Rotten meat. There we go. She accepted. We didn't get a shaft. Awesome. <laughs> well, now that's done. After the tra trading. And this is something that I do honestly love. And the more you help people and the more you build up colonies, the more resources and avenues you have for later on down, down, down the line. It's not just a gimmick. You are building communities back up. Especially after you see, you see it fall so low. This to me is an uplifting feeling that this game gives you. Because you see that at its lowest, and you, and you build it up, and you get the rewards for it. That to me is a good, is a good and natural flow of game design. Mm -hmm. Even in its freaking side quests. Granted, not all side quests. I like that, and to be honest, they don't have to be uh, be that way, because in this moment, it makes stuff like this stand out. Yes. Now we have, can we have it? 
and he subtly told us his plan. Yeah, because the girl's like, what are you talking about? Poison? I'm right next to you. <laughs> uh, poison? Um, darling, what are you doing with poison? <laughs> nothing. 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 Gold digger. <laughs> Let us go back to where the king squeeze is, and let's try and squeeze this through into his pocket. <laughs> and Melly's like, you are not fit to be a king. You should be ashamed. From royal types like you, Melia, I'd buy it. <laughs> I'm waiting to die. I'm waiting to be extorted. Oh, God. I'm oh. an old man. I fell for the Nigerian prince scheme. Oh, dear. Crack. Crushing debt. Crushing debt from Santa, who knew? I heard there's an Alchemoth prince give me money. <laughs> that, to me, is absolute bollocks. <laughs> says, says Melia. Oh, it's you again. I'm a busy man, you know. Time is money. What do you want? Oh, I know. They pulled two chicken to come give me my money. Hello? Anybody in there? Cag out your tongue or something? If you don't have anything to say, get on your bike, go on, hop on it. Sucker. <laughs> and back and forth we go, time traveling style, so we'll see you back and we'll reap the re re rewards of our misdeeds. And as you talk to him, Ricky was like, oop, and we'll put that in there. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky do, Ricky do reverse yoink. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky give yoink. <laughs> Wait, how does that work? Ricky give surprise? <laughs> Ricky treat? Ricky gift? <laughs> oh no. The opposite of yoink. Kiroi! Kiroi! <laughs> Ricky speak in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go. Something tells me, young lady, you are not going to be around anymore. Yes. You hid the poisonous pocket? Right then, it's all set. I'll go and find it and make a big fugly scene in public. Then I can write the real, real story. An expose on, our, on his dodgy deals. And then King Squeeze is finished. We are just going to pretend it all have uh, put off screen and just fade out. <laughs> You should have seen his face. If only we showed it. <laughs> now he'll, he'll be off my back forever. I reckon things will be okay with my girlfriend too. Now I'll be right no I'll, I'll be able to write about worrying about a pile of debt. Cheers. <laughs> and now it seems like we have aver averted another, another crisis. I was going to say, we got nothing for doing all that. The rewards are a bit iffy, but still, Hello. all well and good. And she, and she, and she changed her tune as well. To tell the truth, there was a time when I considered running away, but I'm used to my new lifestyle now. I have Leopold, and that's enough. He really makes me happy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Something tells me that's not true. Ren was a, was a real gent the other day. He treated me to lunch. But he said my new article just ain't buying enough for his taste. I can't really argue him, to be honest. <laughs> what loan shark? Uh, uh, what are you talking, what are you asking me for? I I've never met any loan shark before, have you? Seems like ulterior motives are still, uh, are still in motion. <laughs> oh well, at least they're fine now. One of the one of the most favorite things about this quest is just a small detail. If you were to go to the affinity tree and based on the decisions that you would choose, uh, let's see if I can find whereabouts. Yeah, sure enough. This one it says "Got Revenge." This one is if I can see it. Accomplices. <laughs> if you chose the other option in which you just showed evidence and King Squeeze backed off, the relationship between these two would simply be called awkward. <laughs> it's a small thing and it, I shouldn't find humor in that, but I just do. <laughs> it's like awkward, yes, because that 
Because what Todd just saw right now clearly is not awkward in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> but with that, guys, seems like the sun is setting on our colony. We have a lot to do and places to go to. Our prep's done, as far as I can tell. And I think it's time we got our sister back. So, that said, guys. We'll see you next time. And in Xenoblade Chronicles, <laughs> adventure out to Colony 9 and head towards Valak Mountain. And a small thing before we go. Is Aaron Dunban's a fan of how Tai digital screen? <laughs> I am too. Hopefully, we can go over there one day with. If you're back with us. On that note, guys, we'll see you next time. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you then. Hang on, Fiora. We're coming. <laughs>